Hello, Clock Builder Productions here today with a review of the Imperial Landing Craft. The set I've been sitting on for a while, but I got it as a gift. Um, and I was just like, well, this set was from 2018. But this set is actually probably just about come up on its uh, one year anniversary, I guess. And nobody really talks about this set that much, so I wanted to I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. Our first figure here is an Imperial officer in a black getup. Some nice printing. Um, he has a little gun. No arm printing. What I expected though. Um, pretty generic face and nice to get nice to get one of these hats in black. I believe I only have a couple gray ones and one like brown one from Star Wars Rebels, but it's a nice minifigure to add in your collection. Here is a Sand Trooper, what they call it a Sand Trooper Squad Leader. Um, he has a normal gun. A normal Sand Trooper printing, which looks very nice. Yes, this is before the new, uh, a year before the new Stormtrooper helmets. But I like these helmets. Still, I like both of them. This, here's this backpack thing, which looks pretty nice. Then, the only difference from the other one is he has this orange pauldron, and yes, angry clone face. Um, the other one is just a sand trooper, and they just refer to him as sand trooper because he has a black pauldron and not an orange pauldron. But, there's uh, two more minifigures. I like him. I only wish we got maybe two more, and you guys will find out why in a minute. Here is Obi-Wan Kenobi, of course, with his lightsaber, um, a New Hope version. This is the same one from the 2014 Mos Eisley's Cantina, I believe, as I have that one. Um, maybe some slight differences in the leg printing. But he, I've always thought this is a great minifigure. I think he just looks great. He has a hood back there printed. Great looking face. Here's the hair they've always used for... Literally, it's, it's the one they've always used for old Obi-Wan, but... I think it fits. Um, I think he looks really, really good. And although the in the in context of things, it doesn't really fit that he's in this set, and uh, and neither is R two D two. It it's he's still a worthy inclusion. He's a he's a good figure, and I'm glad that we get him in a set of this size. Here's our final quote unquote figure, R two D two. Um. Just the same R2-D2 we've had for over half a decade. Um, R2-D2, you can always put him in a set. Um, cause kids can play around with him, so... I mean, there's not a lot to say about him, but... There you have R2-D2. Worthy inclusion. Yes, there were only five figures in this set, and this is a $90 set. We'll talk about that at the end. But I do want to say that I love this this model. Um, it's not an Imperial shuttle. It's an Imperial landing craft. You can always somehow... It, I think it would be hard, but you could always somehow convert this to an Imperial shuttle. This is why I wanted it, because it looks somewhat like an Imperial shuttle. But let's start um, with the sides. You can lift these up, you can put troops in each of those, and this one lifts down. You can actually lift this over here and make that go down, so I like, I do like that. Um, you can have a sand trooper walking down, or your officer maybe. I do like that. It's actually, this set is com uh, completely symmetrical. So the other side, you can do the exact same thing. This set does have a lot of big pieces. Um, another thing we'll talk about is the piece count, because it is only 636, um, but then you can put troops in there, same, this is actually all one big thing, so you can do it on either side, then lift that back up, and put those down, um, nice fin here, there's a few stickers in the set, so there, there, and then here, and here. But I believe those are the only stickers. Um, let's... Oh, I forgot to lift this up. Let's actually go back for a minute and go 
back here, these fins go down. And no, this doesn't look good. They should have made this white, because they actually... If you want to fold this all the way up, you can't have another piece there, but... Lego, could you at least have made the piece on top white? This, this white, it would... It would not look... It, it looks kind of ugly. Let's, let's be honest, it looks kind of ugly. Um, but engine design, I really like that. And actually, this back here um, makes the ship very, very swooshable, which is a thing LEGO tries to include for all the Star Wars sets because kids are going to want to swoosh them around. In the front, we have we have some stud shooters here. Nobody really cares. Um, and then lift this up, which this is a really nice design, too. It looks good. Um, you can put a minifigure in there. For example, you can put the officer... I believe that's what it has in the box. And then he can just lay back in there. But overall, I think this is a pretty cool model for 637 pieces, but we're going to have to get to the price. Okay, we're going to get to the final verdict here. Um, I actually really love this set. I think it's a great looking set besides that. Um... I do really like the figures. I think they're really good figures. Um, piece count is 636. Okay, Lego. You're selling this set for $90. 90 freaking dollars for, let's just say 650 pieces and five minifigures. You know what, this model actually looks so good that I would buy this for $90. If it had two more sand troopers, maybe a Luke Skywalker, and I guess you could also probably throw in maybe another officer, or you could just throw in C-3PO. We don't get C-3PO a lot, we mostly just get R2-D2, but like really, you sold this for $90. I'm. I didn't actually buy this myself, it was a gift. Eventually I probably would have bought it. Um, I would have bought it on clearance. I suggest you guys buy it on clearance or if you find a sale somewhere. A recommended price for the set, for what it has in it, I think would be $70. Um, 637 pieces, pretty good minifigs. I think $70 wouldn't be too much of a ripoff. But $90? Um, no, it's just a terrible price point, but I think it's a really good set. If you find it on sale for 70 or below, I think you should get it. Um, I think it's a really good episode 4 set, but just the price. Anyways, Master Builders, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a video because Friday... We're going to Minnesota, and on Saturday or Sunday, we're going to the Lego store. Um, yeah, a little bit of a... So, if you haven't seen it already, go check out my eBay haul video that I posted earlier today. Um, see who I got, because I'm not going to tell you in this video. And tell me where you can see him, because he is sitting hidden somewhere in this picture. Um, no, he is not obscured. He is partly obscured. But whoever uh, whoever sees it can be on the next episode of the Brick Bros podcast with I don't care and, and myself. Um, as long as you have a PS4 a gamer tag. Um, or if you don't have that, we can do. Uh, you can have a video suggestion, a, a set suggestion that I buy when I go to the Lego store, or possibly a giveaway, as I have a couple Lego Movie 2 trading cards that I have are, that are duplicates. But don't be craggled, and peace out.